Hear him. Right, Yen presents. Now. It's me. I'm looking at myself on the TV. That's why I'm not looking at the camera. Because I'm over there. But I'm really right here. I'm John Clark, and I'll be looking at a cassette recorder that I haven't had since I was about five or six and took it apart. So this is a GE automatic stop ALC. GE has funny model numbers. Where's the model number? Anyway, it's a GE. Are you saying? Oh, there it is. Model number 3-5105F. And uh, this was the very first, my introduction to recording on cassette tapes. And uh, I eventually took a screwdriver such as this and pried out the speaker cover so that I could see the speaker inside. And it, because, so it's, it's actually foreign to me to see the speaker grill intact because normally it was the black thing with the circle for the speaker and the thing in the middle. So, uh, oh, and also I pried out the little, the, the mesh of the uh, microphone there. Okay, so Ricky now has me mic'd up properly. And, um, yeah, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to make a recording on this. This is one that you actually have to hold record and play at the same time. You can't just press record and play go down automatically like a lot of the newer ones went. You have to have enough skill to do both. I'm going to do it like I did when I was a kid because I didn't have strength in my fingers to do it that way. I had to do this. Hello, this is John Clark. I'm holding a blast from the past. My first cassette recorder and uh, I used to take this and I would hide it in the living room and record my parents talking and uh, just come back and get it later on and go back and listen to what they said about me. <laughs> it has a nice little lever pause mechanism that when you pause it, it'll make the, the little uh, speed warp change. Uh, which I always remember was fun. All right, no counter, so you'll see my skills at rewinding. A bit later on, go back and listen to what they said about me. Well, nice little lever pause mechanism that when you pause it, it'll make the, the little uh, speed warp change. Uh, 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 which I always remember was fun. All right, no counter, so you'll see my skills at rewinding. And one thing that I remember fun about this is I didn't have a reel-to-reel -reel deck, so I made a miniature reel-to-reel. -reel. I would take my cassettes apart and put the reels individually laying in here and thread the tape through and hold it against the playhead and actually wow. ha could play a tape out of its case. And uh, my brother's cassette deck wouldn't do that because it was one you slid the tape into and it wouldn't play until that was closed. So now this was the recorder that I had and I'm going to uh, show you the recorder that my brother had that I was envious of just because it was his and it wasn't mine. It wasn't because it was a better recorder or anything, it was just, it was different. And, uh, oh, well, that is. <laughs> so, it would always be envious of my brother. <laughs> and it eventually became mine because all of his stuff became mine, whether he liked it or not. Uh, and I really hope that one day I can find the jar of random stuff that I have so that I can give Ricky the other knob. Because I know I have one of those somewhere in a jar from when I took this thing apart. Uh, both of these uh, cassette recorders suffered the same fate. Have it on the ocarina side, right? Yes. Both of these tape recorders suffered the same fate uh, of the day that I just took things apart to see how they were made, but never put them back together. So so. I had that same stage in my life. This one I can't remember. Yes, it's also when you have to press both record and play. It doesn't engage the mechanism for you. 
but it has a counter. So I'm now recording on the JC Penny, which I'm sure my mom bought from JC Penny's directly. Uh, portable cassette recorder, AC or DC, model 681-6531, and it has a pause button. You can't like switch it in pause, you have to hold it in pause. So I'm recording with the built-in microphone. And let's see how this sounds. Mechanism for you. But it has a counter. So I'm now recording on the JC Penny, which I'm sure my mom bought from JC Penny's directly. A portable cassette recorder, AC or DC, model 681-6531. <laughs> you can't like switch it in pause. You have to. So I'm recording with the built-in microphone. And let's see how this sounds. It still has the handle, which is good because the handle is removable. I remember my brother's having a handle. And uh, of course, this one has a handle too. It pulls out like that interesting thing I believe is it this one that has the uh, resistors that are like part of the circuit board do you remember Ricky um, it's one of these I don't think that one has a, it might have been this one it might have been this one but th there's no resistors in it I've seen ones like that. the resistors are part of the circuit board so there's the JCPenney